today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to properly apply your hyaluronic acid with your vitamin C serum. Now I get a lot of questions here on YouTube as well as TikTok asking how do you use the two together, what is the proper layering, which one goes first, and how can we do this where we get the benefits from each product. So I'm going to be demonstrating that in today's video, so let's get right into it, but don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell, and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. So this is going to be a very quick video today. I'm going to get right to the point and show you exactly how to use the two products together. But I want to let you know that hyaluronic acid is a humectant. This is going to hydrate the skin and it's going to plump up your skin, helping to smooth out those surface fine lines. Some people may think that hyaluronic acid is an exfoliant and I can understand why because of the acid in the name, but it actually does not exfoliate the skin at all. It's actually going to hydrate the skin. So with hyaluronic acid, this is actually going to attract and hold on to a thousand times its weight in moisture. So this is going to hydrate the deeper layers of your skin and if you're using it correctly, you will see that plumpness and that nice hydrated feel as well. So you can find hyaluronic acids in so many products nowadays. It's basically in everything. So you can find them in cleansers, moisturizers, serums, sunscreens, and sometimes you can find them in other types of serums as well. So if you're using a peptide serum or let's say a vitamin C serum, have a look at the ingredient list because it most likely contains hyaluronic acid as well. So do you need to use a separate hyaluronic acid serum if you're using products that already contain hyaluronic acid? No, you do not. Of course, you can if you'd like, and I like to do that, but you don't need to. And I will tell you that the more products you use in your skincare routine that contain hyaluronic acid, the chances of you experience pilling are a lot higher. I don't know what it is with hyaluronic acids, but I've experienced a lot of pilling in the day, and I've learned that less is more with this ingredient in particular. So let me show you the products that I'm gonna be using in this video, and let me show you my favorite hyaluronic acid serums. So the vitamin C that I'm gonna be using in this video is by You To The People, and this is the 15% vitamin C plus clean caffeine energy serum. So this is a vitamin C derivative, and I do like using these types of vitamin Cs once in a while. I really love using pure forms of vitamin C's like l acid. I love the Timeless brand. I love SkinCeuticals, Paula's Choice, and those are my go-tos. But like I said, I like to switch it up once in a while. But of course, you can use whatever vitamin C serum you have. The hyaluronic acid that I'm going to be using in this video is by Neod, and this is the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex. This contains 15 different types of hyaluronic acids, and I really love this because I feel like this really gives that nice plump look to the skin, and I feel like my skin is more hydrated with this one compared to other types of hyaluronic acid serums. This is also very different because the texture is like water. It's very thin. Your skin absorbs it really nicely and I never ever experience paling with this product in particular, which is why, again, I love this one so much. I also really love the Inculist Hyaluronic Acid and I also love the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. These are great options as well. They're really affordable and effective. So when you're applying your vitamin C with your hyaluronic acid, it's best to apply your vitamin C first after cleansing and then apply your hyaluronic acid afterwards and then, of course, your remaining skincare products. A lot of dermatologists will recommend this method as well. Now, if you've been applying your hyaluronic acid before your vitamin C, don't stress about it. That method of application is okay as well, and I have done this many, many times before, and I still achieved great results from the active as well as the hydration and the plumpness from the hyaluronic acid. But again, it's best to use your active first for better absorption, and you may see better results by doing it this way as well. So if you're sensitive to vitamin C or you have sensitive skin, then you can apply your vitamin C right now onto dry skin. But I'm actually going to be applying it to damp skin as I always apply my vitamin C's to skin that is damp for better absorption. So I'm actually gonna use the Caudalie Grape Water. I actually recently purchased this as I really wanted something that I could use in between my serums if I needed to add some moisture for better absorption. And this does a very good job. Of course, you could just spritz your face with water right now if you want to, but I really like this because it really does help to soothe and moisturize the skin as well. And this is also great if you have sensitive skin. So I'm going to spritz this all over my face. 
and my neck wherever I apply vitamin C and of course hyaluronic acid and I just let that absorb a little bit and then I'm going to go in with my vitamin C so I'm just going to do why isn't it coming out there we go I'm going to do three pumps And apply that all over now this vitamin C is lovely I have talked about this before it really helps to depuff in the morning with that caffeine and if you're looking for a really good derivative this is a lovely one to look into so once that is all applied I'm actually going to spritz my face again with the caudalie grape water because you want to apply your hyaluronic acids to damp skin. And this is very important when you're using this ingredient because it really needs that water to attract to, to draw in that moisture into your skin, giving that plump look and that hydration. Because remember, hyaluronic acid holds on to a thousand times its weight in moisture. So once my skin is damp from that mist, I'm now going to apply a good syringe full of that Neod hyaluronic acid. And then of course apply this all over. Now, if you don't want to purchase that caudalie water, of course, once you've applied your vitamin C, you can spritz your face with a toner if you want to. And then of course, go in with your hyaluronic acid afterwards onto damp skin. So it really is a personal preference on what you like to use, but that cuddly water is lovely. So once you've applied that everywhere, you're then going to apply your next serum and then your moisturizer, or you're going to apply moisturizer right on top. You really do need to seal in that hydration and that moisture from that hyaluronic acid to achieve that plumpness to the skin and that nice hydration that's going to last all day and all night. You really do need to seal it in. So I'm actually gonna use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. You can use whatever moisturizer you want, but I really do like this one. So I'm going to apply that all over. And then of course, once I've done this, then you can apply your sunscreen afterwards and the way you go. So anytime you use hyaluronic acid, like I said, make sure you apply it to damp skin and make sure that you seal it with a moisturizer afterwards. I am somebody that typically does like to use a couple of serums in my routine. So I would just keep applying everything onto damp skin. And then of course, moisturizer as the last step onto damp skin. All right, and that is all applied. So now you're going to achieve that nice plumpness, that nice hydration and moisturized feel to the skin, and you will notice that some of those fine lines are going to soften, and that hyaluronic acid is going to plump them up, diminishing them temporarily. So of course, I would usually wait five minutes before applying my sunscreen on top. You do whatever works best for you, but I do like to allow my moisturizer to absorb as much as possible prior to applying my sunscreen to prevent paling. And I find that when I do wait in between, it really helps to eliminate that possible chance of paling. So that is how you apply hyaluronic acid serums. Now, if you're someone that doesn't wanna use a separate hyaluronic acid serum because maybe you have too many steps in your skincare routine, or you personally don't like using serums that contain hyaluronic acid, then I would recommend using the Isentree Hyaluronic Moist Cream. This contains five different types of hyaluronic acids. And sometimes I will pair this up with my hyaluronic acid serum. Is that necessary? No, you honestly just need one or the other, but I really like this and you will still get a nice plump look with this moisturizer as well. And your skin will remain moisturized and hydrated all day and all night. And this is fabulous underneath sunscreen. And I really love using this underneath my makeup as well, because this actually gives a nice glow to the skin and it shines through my makeup giving me that nice youthful appearance and I'm a big fan of this and as you can see I'm almost done it so that's another great option if you don't want to use a separate hyaluronic acid serum so that is how you apply hyaluronic acid with vitamin C of course you don't need to use vitamin C 
easy with your hyaluronic acid serum. You can just have a simple skincare routine and just cleanse, hyaluronic acid, moisturize, and then of course SPF. Whatever works for you, you keep being you and do what you enjoy using. I will link everything that I used in today's video below for you for your reference. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next one. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.